Watch our new DIY project compilation. Let's create beauty together. Today, we'll show how to make an awesome pregnancy announcement card using safety pins. We'll need color cardboard and paper, scrapbook paper and tags, safety pins of different sizes, ribbon and pearl halves. Add white glue to scrapbook paper. Attach to color paper of a bigger size. We should prepare a cardboard background. We'll need four similar squares of around two by three inches. Attach the squares to a piece of cardboard. Place two elements on top and another two on the bottom, leaving a bit of space between for a tag. Now, place safety pins. Each square shows a story about a significant life moment of a family. We'll define a future baby with a small pin. The next square shows a birth. And finally, there are three of them, dad, mom, and a baby. Attach the pins with a hot glue gun. Be careful to keep your fingers safe. Change a pin shape to symbolize a pregnancy. Attach a ribbon between the pictures. Prepare a tag. Match the tag and background. Use white glue, as usual for paper elements. Attach the tag on top of the ribbon in the center. Add pearl halves. You can use any embellishments you wish. Put a note sheet inside. Attach the main pinned background to the front of the card. The original pregnancy announcement card with a hint will bring your message to a recipient better than words. In this tutorial, we'll show how to make a baby shower card with a lovely pink umbrella and sparkling rain. We'll need color cardstock, ribbon, scrapbook paper, and embellishments. Add white glue to scrapbook paper. Attach to a cardboard base. Outline a few semicircles joined on by one. Cut it out. Let's decorate the cutout. Add multi-purpose glue to a piece of ribbon. Attach closer to the semicircle outline. It will be the bottom of the card. Stick the ribbon ends to the back side. Tie a bow from another ribbon piece. Cut off the excess. Attach the bow to the ribbon with the multi-purpose glue. Now, add white glue to the cardboard. Note that usually we use white glue for all paper elements. Attach to the front cover, shift it to the right and down. Draw an umbrella on pink paper. Cut it out. Place on brown cardboard and trace, leaving a little extra space around to make the element bigger. Cut out the second umbrella. Draw a handle on the brown cardstock. Cut it out. Add the glue to the pink detail. Attach to the brown one. Add a small brown button on top. Stick the handle to the card first. Attach double-sided tape to the umbrella canopy. Place on the card. Thus, we create a 3D effect. It's time for decoration. Choose the right places for embellishments. Attach the details using the multi-purpose glue. Make the rain from spangles, hearts, and bead halves. Place a sheet for wishes inside. Attach it in the center.
The fabulous baby shower card with shining rain and a sweet pink umbrella will cheer up the mother-to-be in any season and weather. In this tutorial, we'll show how to make a stunning pregnancy scrapbook for photos and cards. We'll need scrapbook paper, color cardstock and paper, thick cardboard, and thin ribbon. Let's start with the cover. Put thick cardboard on the back side of scrapbook paper to mark off the appropriate size, leaving extra space across the edges. Cut it out. Wrap the cover folding up the paper across the sides. Remove the cardboard to smooth the creases. Cut off the corners. Put the cardboard inside and add white glue to the paper. Attach the flaps to the cover. Repeat for each side. This is it! Now, let's make a scrapbook spine. Take a piece of paper and fold accordion style. The pleat width is about 1 inch. Make another detail in the same way. Add glue to a pleat. Put in a page. Attach pages to other pleats. Put another accordion on the opposite side to stick the page ends. Thus, you'll make a symmetrical construction. The unusual scrapbook will have no pages, but divisions to put in photos or cards with some info, etc. Leave the upper pleats loose. Done! Place the covers alongside, leaving a little space between. Add glue across the inner sides. Attach a wide strip of paper to keep the content inside. Stick paper of different color to the inside of the covers. Add glue to the upper pleats of the top and bottom accordions. Attach them to the cover. Add glue to the other side. Close the scrapbook to stick the inner part to the cover. Let's embellish the scrapbook. Draw an arm bent at the elbow. Cut it out. Sketch a pregnant woman's profile on the back side of scrapbook paper. Draw a dress outline. Cut it out. Put the dress onto red paper and trace, leaving some extra space around. Cut it out. The main details are ready. Let's glue the figure together. Attach the pattern dress to the red background to emphasize the figure. Tie a ribbon bow, leaving long ends to make a belt. Put the ribbon under the breast to measure the belt size. Cut off the excess. Use multi-purpose glue to attach the ribbon. Attach the end to the back side. Attach the arm to the dress. Use white glue as for the other paper details. Now, add glue to the figure. Attach to the cover. We've got a fabulous pregnancy scrapbook with convenient pockets to preserve special moments of the happy expectation time. In this video, we'll show how to make a splendid floral maternity card. Take a right triangle from scrapbook paper in pastel shades. Make marks at inch intervals across the long side. Fold the details at the marks. Each new pleat overlaps the previous one. The element looks like an accordion. 
Better choose double-sided paper for the detail. Fasten the construction with white glue. Stick the pleats on top. Attach a scrapbook paper piece to a cardboard base. Stick a pink ribbon to a piece of patterned paper using multi-purpose glue. The soft color ornament matches the card. Attach the ribbon ends to the back side of the paper. Place the ribbon detail to the top of the card. Attach the folded element right under the ribbon. Draw a tray foil on pink paper. Cut it out. We need two of the same details. Use the cutout as a template. Cut it out. Make another smaller tray foil on pale pink paper. Add the smallest yellow detail. Now you can assemble a flower. Stick the details in the center. Glue the biggest trefoils first, covering the gaps between the underside of the petals with the upper ones. Then add trefoils of the smaller size. Attach the flower to the card. Add a couple of heart-shaped embellishments. Stick a color wish note inside as a finishing touch. You want to create a 3D flower effect by turning the petals upright. Perfect! The delicate maternity card will become a pleasant gift for a mother-to-be. It's a good way to express your care and support. This video is about how to make a cute baby girl birth announcement card. We'll need color cardboard, embossed cardstock, tags, scrapbook paper, and pearl bead halves. Attach scrapbook paper to a cardboard base using white glue. It will be the main background of the card. Draw round corners on a square piece of white embossed cardstock. Cut them down. Glue two strips of scrapbook paper with an appropriate pattern. Attach the rounded corner cutout at an angle. Draw a V-shaped cut on a pink embossed strip to imitate a gift ribbon. Cut off the excess. Attach it a slant. Make a pink embossed base for a theme tag. Draw petals for a frame. Cut it out. Attach the tag to the flower base. Use double-sided foam tape for a volumetric effect. Stick the tag on top of the pink paper ribbon. Outline flowers on yellow paper. Cut it out. Draw leaves on green paper. Cut them out. Make a flower core with a tiny pearl bead half. Add another tag with themed writing. Attach flowers and leaves. Put a card in with the details of your newborn. You can mention any information you'd like others to know. Date and time of birth, weight, height, etc. This charming baby girl announcement card will be a perfect way to share the good news with your family and friends. Today, we'll show how to make a charming baby boy card in a marine style. We'll need white embossed cardstock, scrapbook paper, color cardboard, and embellishments. Take blue cardboard folded in half as a card base. 
Measure out about 3 inches beyond the bottom on marine pattern paper. Cut it out following the wave line. Mark the cover borders and cut off the excess. Attach to the cover bottom using white glue. Draw a circle of about 3 inches diameter on white embossed cardboard. Use compasses. Cut it out. Repeat the circle on the back side of scrapbook paper. Draw another circle about an inch bigger with the same center. We need it to sketch semicircle petals. Cut out the flower. Outline a ship hull shaped as a semicircle on funny dotted paper. Cut it out. Make sails shaped as two right triangles with other patterns. We'll need a mast as well. Attach the ship parts to the circle. The hull first, then the mast. And finally, the sails. Cut out the part of the mast beyond the circle. Draw a small flag on red paper. Cut it out. Stick it on top of the mast. You can add a detail to the hull. Attach the flower above the waves. Add a tag background to the right part of the card. Use scrapbook paper. Stick the wording on top. Attach double-sided foam tape to the back of the ship circle. Thus, we'll create a 3D effect. Adhere the flower on top to see the petals. You can add a few embellishments like spangles or buttons. Attach a sheet for wishes inside. The lovely baby boy card will be a pleasant little gift for a young mother. The amusing ship card will recall the happy days years after. We look forward to your comments. Give your thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to see the newest DIY card making projects.